this is the only thing I wear. <laughs> when they say that, that's, you know, that's great. Or I've got a pair that I use all the time when I'm on my feet. You know. Then someone will say, well, I wear, I don't wear it to church, or I don't wear it to certain, you know, places because it, it isn't dressy enough. And it isn't. It's, it's not the best looking shoe in the world. But the fact that I can run at my age uh, and not get hurt is really a testament to, to the shoes that we make. I just turned 81, so, you know, that's, so, and, and, and run as well as I do. In fact, I just took, uh, uh, to, to see how I could run against my compadres, I, I ran in the senior, senior Olympics. I came in first here in the, in the 200 and the 100 meter. The benefits to the coil are, uh, it, it's, it, it's a, being a conical coil spring, the safety of it is that it that it collapses just straight down, but it, but that 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 collapse that it gives when you when you walk on it is the one that provides you the cushioning that you need, just like a bed. You know we we do so great cushioning in cars and and beds, and then when we walk we have nothing. You know it's it's almost it's almost ridiculous. In fact, the shoe business is probably the only business in the world that performance is not a requirement of the shoe as long as it looks pretty. And, and that's something to really think about. You know, there's so much weight that comes down on our body that, that uh, for us to have not have some kind of support, some kind of cushioning uh, is, 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 is ridiculous. And it's been that way forever. And until we came out with this, now you'll find companies that are starting to think about it a little bit because they've heard about it. And you'll have Nikes trying to come up with a shoe, of course. Then they try to even go opposite by making the the uh, the, the the shoe that makes you feel like you're running barefooted, and things like that. You know, kind of make it teasing, I think. You know, but but it's so ridiculous. We've had so many people get hurt because of those shoes that are like that, without support, and without cushioning. Uh, let's see, I I guess the the one shoe that. I think could be one of the best ones around because there's running. Is they're trying to make people be more active, and this is a running shoe. And the spring is more towards the center, and it's a it's a pretty light shoe. And I have it. Of course, I have this at ankle top. So I, I just wanted to be able to not turn my ankle with. You know, I always thought it would be a danger to have a spring and and be up a little high like that. But there was never any danger. I never turned my foot at all. And but this is really neat. And uh, and then I showed you the replaceable heels. I have. Uh, let me have that one shoe, the blue. That's okay. good. Yes, that one. This I think could be a real good shoe. Eventually, uh, what it is, it's, it's a regular shoe, you know. And then, if you don't like that shoe, that the style of that one, just pull the top off and pull it and put another put another top on it. So. So that's kind of it. <laughs> So that that's where I got, and then and then Andres said, "Dad, let's take your project, make make a shoe out of it, make a company out of it." And I was not that brave, but he, when he said that, I said, "Well, yeah, it's, let's do." I didn't I didn't say no at all, but I, but I thought, gee, that's pretty brave. And uh, you know, the, the children have been been a great support for me. You know, having lost Marcella, and then and then and then uh, having them grow up and and we'd be together. That was really ideal. It's just been ideal. So. Just be prepared to be surprised when you put them on. <laughs>